Hi there, and welcome to another Thunkable video. In this video, we will learn how to turn a Figma project into a Thunkable app. Start by clicking on the Assets tab and clicking the plus icon in the section labeled Figma Files. Paste in the URL of your Figma project, then select a page from this project to import your artboards from. You will now see the name of the chosen page in the Figma file section of your Assets tab. You will also see that your screens have been imported with the names that were given to the frames in your Figma project. In this project, my screens are called Home, Repairs, Status Lookup, and Contact. In the Design tab, we can take a closer look at the items on these screens. You'll see different icons to indicate groups, images, and frames. If at any point you want to refresh your Figma frame in your project, perhaps because you have updated the original Figma project, simply click the refresh icon next to the screen name in the design tab. You will see these pop-ups letting you know when the connection begins to refresh and when the resync has executed successfully. You can also use Thunkable blocks to program certain actions to happen when the user interacts with your Figma components. For example, when the user clicks the repair button on the home screen, we want to navigate to the repair screen. If I click on a vector in this repair frame, we can see that its parent is called frame 13. That's the outline of this total repair button. I'm going to rename this frame to navigate to repairs to make it easier to find in the blocks. Now in the blocks, I'll find my component called Navigator Repair and open up the drawer of blocks I can use for this component. From this list, I select When Navigate to Repair Click and then in the Control drawer of blocks, I say that we'll navigate to the screen called Repairs. Now when I test this project on the web, I can click the Repairs button and be brought to the Repairs screen. This makes it simple to turn your beautiful Figma design into a working app. A project like this can also benefit from Thunkable's ability to easily connect to a data source. For example, you can let the user type in their order number, click check, and bring up the relevant information on the status lookup screen. And that's all you need to know to get started with importing your Figma files to your Thunkable projects. You can find relevant docs and a corresponding Thunkable project in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and as ever, thanks for thunking.